In this video, I'm going to show you how you can optimize your NVIDIA control panel settings for gaming and for getting the maximum performance out of your PC in 2023. So guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, drop a like on this video and with wasting any time, let's dive straight into it. So in the very first step, you need to right click on your desktop and open up NVIDIA control panel settings and also it's important to update your NVIDIA driver onto the latest version. So guys, in the very first step here is our 3D settings. You need to go for adjust image settings with preview and set it on to the use the advanced 3D image settings and apply the settings on your PC. Now go for next step and that is the manage 3D settings. So here is our all the NVIDIA settings which we are going to apply on our PC. So in the very first step here is the image scaling. I suggest you to turn it on. It will help you to getting more FPS and give you the sharp image on low resolution. So set it on to the 50% and check mark onto the overlay indicator. Therefore, it can show you the overlay at the top left corner and you can understand this feature is enabled on your PC and click OK, go for ambition collision, go for it and set it on to the performance, go for anti filtering, set it on to the application control, anti analyzing FXAA, set it on to the off, anti analyzing gamma correction, turn it on, anti analyzing mode, set it on to the application control, anti analyzing transparency, set it off. Background application max frame rate set it on to the off. QDA GPU set it on to the all. DSR factor turn it off. And scroll down, go for the next setting which is the low latency mode. Set it on to the ultra. So go for the drop down and set it on to the ultra. After that, scroll down, go for the max frame rate and set it on to the off. Go for monitor technology set it on to the G Sense compatible. Multi frame sample double A set it off. Open G L G D I compatibility set it on to the auto. Open GR when go for the drop down and set it on your GPU. Power management mode set it on to the preferred maximum performance. Preferred refresh rate set it on to the highest available. Shutter cache size set it on to the driver default. Texture filtering sampling option set it on to the off. Texture filtering negative LODPA set it on to the allow. Texture filtering quality set it on to the high performance. Texture filtering linear optimization set it on. Threat optimization turn it on. Triple buffering set it on to the off. Vertical sync set it on to the use the 3D settings. Vertical reality pre render frame set it on to the one. Vertical reality variable rate super sampling set it off. Vulcan open G and preset mode set it on to the auto. After that, hit apply and save the settings. After applying all the settings, your screen will go black for a few seconds or blink some time. So, after that, now you need to go for the next step and that is the configure surrounded physics X. And on the right side, you will find out the settings. Go for processor and set it on to the NVIDIA GeForce RTX or whatever GPU you are using. After it, hit apply. Now go for the next settings which is the display settings. Go for adjust desktop size and position. Scroll down and set it onto the GPU and set the resolution on the native resolution of your PC. After that, hit apply and close out your NVIDIA control panel. And these are the settings you need to apply right now on your NVIDIA control panel. If you want to get better FPS and performance out of your Windows or on your PC, I hope so you love this optimization. So make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel and share your feedback about this video in the comment section. So till the next video, peace out.